Welcome back. Up to September 21, Carol Gonzalez presided as the resident magistrate at the Yalas RM Court. Today, only a week later, she joins us as Carol Gonzalez, the recording artist, right here, right now, on stage. Carol, welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. All right, this must be a shocker for people in your circle. Yeah, for some. It for is. those who do not really know me. Yes. What are they saying? Well, some say that uh, I've lost one or two of the cards in my deck. Mm -hmm. Or that I've lost touch with reality. Or whatever it is they're saying. I don't know what everyone is saying. But I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, how long was your tenure? On the bench? No, on the bench, yes. All right. Uh, can you do math well? From 1998 to last Friday. Mm, that's about, about nine hours. years. Yeah. Okay. So the big question is what drove you to, to make the step? Passion, love, need, mm -hmm. driven by the desire. Um, I came back to music in 2004 quite by accident. I was asked to do a song at a charity event. Mm -hmm. And uh, before that, I had completely forgotten about singing. I had, you know, become completely embroiled, well, not embroiled, but engrossed mm -hmm. in my job and had forgotten all about music. And I did that one song at a charity event with the permission of the Chief Justice, and it was absolutely wonderful. Mm. I zoned out. I just completely zoned out. And uh, in fact, to the extent that uh, this was a church, yes. and people applauded. And when they applauded, I kind of, I woke up. I was like, oh my God, yes, there are people here. And they liked it. Oh, that's so nice. But after that, um, it wouldn't rest. It just kept gnawing at me, gnawing at me. And my husband saw it, and I was becoming more depressed every day. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, you know, Carol, you have to live for what makes you happy. What do you want to do? And I said, I, I want to do me. That's what I want to do. So I serve the people until I now serve the Lord through music. You say it wouldn't rest. So was it resting this talent, this, this, this desire to sing, this passion for singing, all these years? And how many years? I know you were on the bench for nine years, but prior to that, you, you went to l law school and, and, um, and what? Well, I, was, I began singing in 1978, mm -hmm. between then and uh, 1998. I still sang actively. Yes. After I became counsel at the bar, I sang, but to a lesser extent. Mm -hmm. I would still do gigs on the North Coast and wherever. But after I went to the bench in 2000, I mean 1998, I had to give it up altogether because that's what the law requires. Okay. So between that time and uh, 2004, thereabouts, the singer in me went to sleep. It was really dormant, dormant mm -hmm. altogether. Not even at home, in the bathroom? N not even. Well, I'll tell you this. I never listened to the radio. It was, I, I listened only to music. Mm -hmm. So the, the musician never left me. Okay. But the desire to sing was dormant until this one afternoon at this church. It was the United Way Scott Skirt Church um, in downtown Kingston. And after that, it wouldn't really How long ago was this? This is 2004. Yes. So uh, you just, you were tormented? You tormented. That's a good word. I like it. That's what it was. By that passion. Yes. And you now come with a new album. So you must have done some work on it before, before you, you uh, resigned right, from the bench. Yes. Because you see, um, I had become so restless, unhappy, depressed. And my husband sat me down and said, what w if God came to you today and asked you, what do you want, mm -hmm. woman? What do you want to make you happy? I've given you the best husband in the world. What else can I do for you? He said, I want to sing. I want to sing. Okay. And he said, well, okay. What do you want to do? You want, I said, I want to call Dean Fraser. And I want to start an album. And Dean and I started the album sometime last year. And we finished sometime this year. And um, I now have an ace in the hole, if, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> an extraordinary uh. manager, Tayama Kafili, who mm -hmm. got me here to speak.
speak with such a beautifully handsome man as yourself. Oh, I'm flattered. Oh, please. Uh, so she is wonderful, and she's going to get me where I need to go. She, she sees me where I see myself. But I really do want to succeed worldwide. Mm. I want to be as big as Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston and everybody. I'm just as good as they are. But <laughs> um, right now, Winford, to tell the truth, I always do. I'll be frank, you be James. But a piano and a mic would suffice. That's how bad it is. I don't need money. Mm -hmm. I just need to do it. Just sing. Doing it, just singing, is what you would consider success yes. in, in, in music. Yes. All right, let's give our viewers a chance to hear you. OK, here we go. There was a girl I just didn't know. She was also There you have it, just a small taste of the music of Carl Gonzalez. Um, so tell me, w remind us of the title of this, this piece. It's a brand new video, by the way, and a brand new song from a brand new album. 